game is so hard! I don't know what to do! Zaber's amazing walkthroughs! What's up guys, this is ZebraGamer here for another episode of Let's Play Jack and Daxter. In this episode, episode 19, we'll be continuing on with Boggy Swamp. I said that pretty fast! I deserve a prize, but I will not receive one. Unless my prize is to continue on with the Let's Play, which is quite a bit of a prize. I like that prize a lot. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, I not want to jump off here. So I need to go way back here. I probably shouldn't have gone over here. Nah, no! Why? Daxter, where's your face? I don't know, how are you going to get your face back into a normal position? Okay, this time, we're going to fix our actions by going over here, grabbing the yellow eco, and showing these rats who their mama is. Not me. I do not condone this rat. But I will show it a lesson. While I'm at it, I'll go and get a few of these orbs. Need to be fast on it. Yes, I did it. Awesome. I do believe this will be the final bit of the orbs. Yes, it will. 200 orbs. Quite a bit of orbs to get. But that does everything for Buggy Swamp. Thank God that was pretty easy. A lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought I'd have a ton of trouble and just be, you know, like a frustrated mess. I probably could have finished that Buggy Swamp up in the last part, but who cares? And that lurker shark is still terrifying. But let's talk to Kira and her technological stuff. Great! You have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. All right, then. Let's show this dude who's boss. He's been destroying this city, and we're bringing it back from the ashes if I can learn how to use the controls. Now, this doesn't actually hurt you, but it will knock you back, which if it knocks you in the water, uh... Be ready to swim as fast as you can so you can get the hell away from the Lurker Shark. You probably won't be able to. But let's go and take this dude head on. You can consider this a boss fight because it is. Now, what the heck is this dude? I mean, from his stomach and stuff, like with the white line, it looks like a wolf, but he has a beard and horns. And let's not talk about his getup, I mean. Armor? Seriously? <laughs> Three out of ten. But in seriousness, um, he will be shooting his stuff at us, and then the final one he shoots will drop some blue eco, and then we can use that to get across to shoot him. Which we just need to shoot at his face, or no? Oh, well maybe if I stood over the... I did this wrong, you can tell. There you go, I did it. If you don't do it in, ti enough in time, he'll just throw it at you, I believe. I'm not completely sure, he might just drop it. But if you do it right, he'll drop it on his head, which will do damage. So there's one hit out of three we need to hit him. So, now he'll just do the same- What? I must have not jumped far enough. But what he'll do is he'll just go through it again, uh, just as fast. Or I meant faster. Alright then, I, I should mention that the music here is awesome. Do, 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 do. I don't know if that's synced with the actual game audio, but uh, whatever. Oh, I wish I could just notice that that's coming. Instead of just, you know, goofing off, man. Alright then. Now we just need to do the same thing again. Very repetitive as a boss fight, but it does get more challenging as you can see. You know, there's more of the road took him out. And I do believe he shoots more than he did before. But now we just need to shoot him until he drops it on his head again. There you go. Now let's try let's try not to fall in. Just I got a head start on it. That's not very hard. Do like I said, since I got a head start on it. Now we just need to hit him one more time. 
see if we can do it. Uh, do I have full health? No, I don't. But hopefully I have enough health to survive. It gets very distracting between jumping and avoiding. No, dang it, dang it. So I found that a good tip is don't pay attention to where the meteor itself is going. Pay attention to its shadow. That shows the biggest difference. As you can see, I can see which direction it's going a lot easier, but sometimes they still can move faster than Jack can. So it can be very hard and very frustrating. So you just need time and luck. There. I try to I try to find a pattern. There really I don't see any. I should be good now. Hopefully. Uh, yes, I was close as heck. I was sure to die there, but apparently, you know, luck's on my side this time. And boom, it'll hit him again, and then fall. We will not be hit that time. Pretty awesome. Let's grab our well-earned power cell. Okay. Uh, apparently we can't hit that. Why is that even there? Tell me that. Inform me. It doesn't matter, though. And, you know, even though we missed that little intercom thing with Kira. Oh boy, talking to Kira. So awesome. We don't have to do the boss fight again. That would be horrible if we did. But we don't. So we'll be fine. Just need to do some simple platforming that I'll probably fail at. Over to this area. So that we can finish off with this part. Yes. Thank you guys for watching this part of Let's Play Jack and Daxter. Um... The next part, part 20, we will be going to Mountain Pass and having a great time doing what? I guess you'll have to see. What is that blue light over there? We will find out on the next part. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.